I just walked back up to try to get the dogs. An example of like daily life because of these guys, the, the four wheelers. Just an example because Susie is older and doesn't, doesn't hear, look, trying to make sure that she doesn't feel excluded. She doesn't feel safe at all being in the backyard. I was trying to do some yard cleanup in the back and the dogs were supposed to be in the back with me. I connect the two dogs together because of my fear of Susie going next door and because she cannot hear or see. Susie, she did this yesterday too, and she was correct. She could smell them back, in the back, but they, they were in their yard, but she was correct. They were back there. Um, she refused to go in the back. She's still refusing to go in the back, and Molly is just having a meltdown. She's my little anxiety dog. I'm having to walk all the way back up here and and get them and it's just toasting me and um making me have a very hard time getting anything done but here's sue here's sue she's normally my partner in crime look she does not want to go in the backyard susie come on come on baby come on all right we cannot make this up come on baby come on Come on, let's go to the back. Come on. Anyone who knows dogs maybe knows that that's a little weird. She is normally my partner in crime who is with me side by side. And she does not want to go in the back for anything. Let me see if, if she'll say anything. Susie, come on, let's go. You okay? You okay, baby? You don't want to go in the back? Huh? You don't want to go in the back, baby? You okay? <coughs> you smell them? It's okay. It's okay, baby. It's okay. We'll go inside. Or you'll go inside. I'm working on it, baby. I love you. You're a good girl. The closest she's ever been is when there's coyotes back there. Kind of like how bad of a bad smell could it be, of a dangerous smell can it be if she thinks it's worse than coyotes? You know? She loves the backyard. And the fact that she she won't. She will she will not go.